knows that he's turning me to keep this feeling slow drug in the morning i can admit it i'm a sensitive soul not sensitive in the way that if somebody calls me a name i'm gonna run home and cry into my pillow after eating a pint of ice cream that's just not gonna happen what i'm trying to say is that i'm sensitive to the ways of the world what people do to one another what people do to the earth and animals but this last week there was a flurry of articles that completely gutted me now i can't avoid the ways of the world they're in my face people tweet about them they put them on facebook there's pictures that i don't want to see and news articles that i don't want to read but I have to be informed because I don't want to be ignorant. This last week, social media was swamped with a story about the man from Miami who bit off another man's face and people were calling it the zombie apocalypse. This totally got to me because zombies are fake. Zombies are people who have risen from the dead and are going to come and eat your brains. They are fiction and this story was very real and it bothered me that people were likening it to the zombie apocalypse and people were saying how cool it was. It's not cool. It was devastating. It was sad. It was tragic. Those are the words that we use to describe this incident because it was horrifying. I know that might come as a shock to you because I love zombies. It's no secret that I think they're cool and that I thought about the zombie apocalypse and what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna escape and what my survival plan's gonna be, but this was different. This was not something to be celebrated. I felt bad for the man that this happened to. I felt bad for the man that did it. His family, everybody who knew him. So while I was already down in the dumps and annoyed with human beings, I read another article about an MMA fighter who had cut out the heart of his training partner while his training partner was still alive. He also cut out other organs in his tongue, and he did it because he hallucinated and thought that his friend was possessed with the devil. And all that was left of this man was a gory mess. And the thing about these articles is they have something in common. Drugs. Both of these men who did these atrocious things were on drugs. Haven't we learned already that we shouldn't be doing drugs? The man who bit off of the face of the other man in Miami was hopped up on a drug called bath salts. This is not what your mother keeps under the bathroom sink. These are very dangerous drugs that have lethal and toxic ingredients that completely mess with your mind. And the MMA fighter had ingested a wild mushroom tea that was known for its hallucinogenic capabilities. Ever since I was little, it was drilled into my mind, don't do drugs. That was like the one thing I learned. It's the one thing that I hung on to. I've never done drugs. I know people scoff when they hear that, but I seriously have never done drugs. I try to keep my body in its most natural state, especially my mind. I don't want to tamper with my mind. Maybe I was the only one who was paying attention during the after school specials. I know people are going to say that these are isolated incidences and they don't happen to everybody who does drugs, but do you want to be the person? Person who does this? Do you want to be the person who has to live with the fact that you cut out your friend's heart or you ate another man's face? And it's not like I don't understand why people do drugs. I completely do. It's escapism. They can get away from their life. I know I joke around about being a hippie and joining hands and frolicking through the forest with flowers in my hair and bare feet, but seriously, can't we just do that? I don't think that's too much to ask. So even though there are weird things happening in the world, the zombie apocalypse isn't upon us. Just messed up people on messed up drugs. I gotta think of something fun to do next week, and I hope that you will all return back to me for another edition of That Girl Tyson. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. Sit.